Adam Lundquist, Memo Rodriguez, Houston Dynamo. Guys, thanks for joining us. Before we talk about the Dynamo Classic Rewind, just want to get your thoughts on how tough the situation has been the last few weeks as we're on an indefinite suspension. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's super tough what's going on uh, around the world. Um, it's tough for us as professional athletes. We, w- we want to be on the field, um, see our teammates, see the coach, play in front of fans, playing games, and it, it's tough. But unfortunately, like we have to do it to, for our own health and for everybody's health around the world. Adam, what's it been like for you? No, like Memo is summarizing it pretty, pretty good. Like it's it's hard because you are so you're isolated from from everything. So it's not just that you're away from your teammates. You're you're away from everything. That your workout possibilities are limited. So you just need to keep discipline and and work out to to be able to come back in as good shape as possible. All right, let's talk about Dynamo Classic Rewind. Wednesday nights on Dynamo.com. Saturdays on Q57. If you're watching our Saturday edition of the High School Sports Zone, 7 p.m. Saturday nights, we're starting with a game from just last year, March 30th, 2019, Dynamo versus the Colorado Rapids. A wild game. Memo, you had the first goal of that game. What, were, what do you remember most about that matchup on the road? Uh, yeah, like um, like you said, I scored the first goal. Um, we... we um, Always take away games seriously. I mean, we know how difficult it is um, to win games on the road. Not just us. I know we, we've had a pretty bad stretch away from home, but I think in the league in general, it's tough to go away and at hostile environments and to get the results. But obviously, we, we got the result. Um, I can't remember too well if we were up 2-0 or, or 3-0 at half. Uh, we did um, everything we could. We were out aggressive. Um, I think Albert had um, a great game. He... Um, made two own goals happen and i think that was um the icing on the cake uh that game and i think everybody performed well um it was a team effort because obviously it's not just individual uh, it's the team effort in soccer so i think everything went our way and and it was good for us to get a result away from home adam they scored two own goals for you guys they got red carded a lot of tempers in that game uh what do you what are your best recollections no, but it's like the same. I'm just to uh, like uh, for me personally, it was like a it was a very strange game because it felt like we were scoring on everything, and like you say, they didn't really help themselves with two own goals. So for me, uh, like Memo said, I don't remember if it was two zero or three zero, but it was a very special kind of game. We played we played great the first half, and we kind of closed the game game out really quick. Got a little. Uh, aggressive in the end, uh, the home team, as you can imagine, like playing playing at home and being being down 3-0 or 4-0. So, I mean, I just I just remember it being a kind of a strange game where everyone everything was going in for us. But also, we played a really good game and it was a good to get that re- result away from home. As Memo mentioned, it's a hard hard thing to do in this league and, and we were happy to, to get away with, with, a, with, a, with a very good win. <laughs> All right, it was a wild one. Look forward to seeing it again. If you're watching our Saturday show, Saturday night, March 28th, 7 p.m., Q57. If you miss it for whatever reason and watching us on Sunday, next week on Dynamo.com on Wednesday, we have Ching's Goal of the Year, Dynamo.com. On Saturday, back at Q57, got a great one. First year, first title against the New England Revolution back in November of 2006. Guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully, you'll get back to action soon, right? Yeah, for sure. We want to be out there. Yeah, hopefully. Thanks, uh, Adam and Memo. We'll talk to you later on. All right. Thank you. Thank you.